Okay, good morning. Good morning, Amanda, Charlene, and if I'm not mistaken, I think their son's name is Mike. And if I'm wrong, I'm sorry. Anyway, good morning, everybody. Um, this is Spike, and I am going to make you your breakfast. Um, as I promised, I'm going to make biscuits and gravy. So I'm going to show you a little bit of what I do and how this is put together, and um, hopefully you're going to enjoy it. All right, the first thing I use is the uh, Purnell's Old Folks Country Sausage Medium. Now, there is a spicy version, but since, Amanda, you just got out of the hospital, I don't think you want to spice it up yet. You still have a sensitive uh, tummy. Uh, then we use milk and flour and, of course, the biscuits. Best biscuits I love to use is the uh, Pillsbury Grand's Homestyle Buttermilk, old-fashioned buttermilk biscuits. All right. So I'm going to get this all cut up and get this started, and um, be right back. Okay, as you see, we have our pernell. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this up. We use this whole pound. And I think there's uh, eight biscuits, yes, eight biscuits. And if you're anything like me, I love a lot of gravy. So... This will be perfect. Okay, now we're going to come here and we're going to put it in the pot here. Okay, we're going to do it this way. Okay, there we go. Got this all taken out. Use every bit of this sausage. We don't want to waste. Waste not, want not. Okay. Wash my hands. Okay. All right, now, I turn on the gas. Kind of low temperature. A little bit higher than low. And then what I do is... I break up this sausage. <clears throat> now this Purnell brand doesn't have much grease. And you have to have a little bit of grease or oil in order for when you go to put the flour in for it to thicken up when you add the milk. So after this browns up pretty good and I get it going, I add a little bit of canola oil. Or if you have vegetable oil, it doesn't really matter. <clears throat> but just enough so you can see how it's going to be a little bit on the greasier side. And that's what you're going to need when you make your roux. Okay. Turn this up a little bit. Get it a little sizzling. Hope you can see what I'm doing here. Kind of hard to tape it yourself and cook at the same time. Okay. Now I don't add anything to this until I add the milk and the flour. Then I add a little bit of salt and pepper to the mixture. And that gives it just the right amount of flavor because this sausage has a lot of flavor in it. That's why I choose a Purnell. Now, <coughs> if you don't have that brand and can't find it, because sometimes I can't find it around here, I use the Tennessee Pride or Bob Evans. And they have both the mild and the spicy version. Now, when I make this at home for my family, my, uh, my husband doesn't like the spicy. So what I do is, <coughs> I add my own sriracha, sriracha sauce. I add that to my plate to make it spicy. But then when he's at home and I make it for Ryan and I and Shelly, then I make the uh, spicy version. <clears throat> Which this one here, see? Old folks country sausage spicy medium. Because it got a spicy hot. But the spicy medium is good. If you want a little bit hotter, you can always add that sriracha. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and cook this, stir it up, get it nice and brown, and I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. 
Now see how brown that is? Nice and brown. But you can see there's not much juice or grease or anything like that because this is pretty lean breakfast sausage. So that's when I have to add some more oil to it. Just so when you add the flour and the milk, it makes it nice and thick. So I don't really measure. I just kind of go around and just do just a little bit like that. Um, I don't know, maybe it's a quarter of a cup. I'll just guess at that. And so see how much more juicier this is and it has more liquid. Okay, that's it. what kind of consistency you need. All right, now, what we're going to do is we're going to set the timer for the biscuits. Okay. We're going to let that oven heat up. Because you kind of want to have the biscuits ready when this is. Because you want everything both nice and hot. So when you split the biscuit in half, open it up, you can pour that wonderful gravy on top. Okay, so now this is ready for me to add the flour. By the way, I want to thank my friend Aggie in Southern Indiana. She's a true country cook. And um, we've been friends for quite a few years. And I loved her biscuits and gravy. The only thing she does different than I is I use bulk sausage and I chop it all up. Where she makes sausage patties and serves that on the side and makes the milk gravy. So um, that's the only difference it is. But I like my chunky meat in my gravy. So, anyway, we came up with six tablespoons of flour. One, two, three, four, five. Make sure they're level tablespoons. Six. Okay. There you go. We mix that up and put that on the lower gas. Make sure all that flour gets in the meat. Otherwise, you're going to have one big thing of paste and it's going to taste like paste. Distributed really good. Oh, yeah, that's another reason why you put the oil on it so it um, the flour will stick to the meat. Okay, now I like to chop it up so it's nice and smaller sized pieces than big chunky because it goes further too. All right, there we go. So now I'm gonna get my milk. And it doesn't matter if you use 2% whole skim. Now, what I do is I pour enough milk in here that is going to cover the meat entirely. Now, you can always add more if you need it. I don't like to put too much in there because I don't want it too mushy. I like it a little on the thicker side. So, I can always add more if my gravy is too thick. <clears throat> so, then what we do here is we mix this up. And then I'm going to add some fresh ground pepper. Not too much because, like I said, the meason, uh, meat is seasoned pretty good. And then I use sea salt, which is much better for you. Just a tad. You don't need too much. You can always salt and pepper it more if you need it at the table on your own plate. And then what this is going to do after a while, put this on medium heat so it starts to boil a little bit. You can always turn it down, but you've got to stay at the stove and watch it. Otherwise, it's going to scorch. And then it's totally ruined. This is going to take a while, so we'll be back when it gets thicker. Okay, now this is about the consistency you want. Now, right here in the middle is a little bit thick. So I think I may add just a little bit more milk. Just a tad more. 
thin it out just a little bit more. But it's all up to you how thick you want it. Now this take a few more minutes to thicken right back up. So in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and get these beautiful biscuits. Put them in the oven. I got it set for 325 only because I use um, one of those uh, pans, browning pans, and you don't want to have them on too long. So it says on the, uh, let's see here, it says about 13 to 17 minutes. Well, I set my timer here. For 13 because it seems like my oven cooks bakes however you want to put it a little bit quicker than what the time says on the packet so I'm gonna set it actually I like to set two so it's really loud when it goes off okay there we go okay so Mix this up a little bit more and see it thins it out somewhat. Got to keep stirring it though because if you don't, it's going to start uh, separating. And you want to make sure you've got it all mixed up good. But see how I like the little chunks of meat in there? I like it that way than just patties on the side and just the plain gravy. But to each his own. But the basic recipe is my friend Aggie's. And I am so happy she made it because now I am the queen of biscuits and gravy at my house. Either spicy version or the non-spicy. And when my kids come from Westville and they're here for the weekend and they stay overnight or come over for breakfast, this is what they always ask for. Between this and my pancakes. So. Okay, so this is about done and I'm going to give it a chance to... Um, sit for a little bit, cool off just a tad, and then I'm going to transfer it to a packaging because we're going to go to Amanda's and surprise her. Well, actually, she knows we're coming, but see how good that looks? Mm-mm-mm. Yum, yum. Okay, see you back after the biscuits are done.